was not planning on filming a video today, but breaking news, Tim Waltz is the choice for VP for Kamala Harris. It is a Harris Waltz ticket. Who is the newest VP pick? He is the current governor of Minnesota. He served the country. He was a high school football coach. And he was the faculty advisor for a gay straight alliance in rural Minnesota in the 1990s. Yes, my sour cream king. He was also a principal. Why are the children hugging him? Well, because of increased food insecurity during the pandemic, he signed a bill in March of 2023 that ensures all K through 12 students in the state have access to free breakfast and lunch on school days. Can't wait to see how Republicans turn this into a bad thing. Children eating, oh no. He's been an asset on news channel rounds and he's the one that started the whole they're weird. Yes, they are. There's been a lot of debate over which dry white wine would become the VP pick. And there were some good choices. And there were a lot of people that thought she would go the Shapiro route because holding this in Pennsylvania, which I always thought was going to be more of a unity thing to show that Josh Shapiro is supportive because there's been a lot of talk around him and some negative stuff. He was not going to be a good pick. And I think you kind of have to look at this larger than oh my gosh, she can't win Pennsylvania now. First of all, there's more pathways to victory. Second of all, just because you pick someone from a swing state does not mean that that state is going to swing in that direction. It really depends on how people feel about the governor. You couldn't lab create a better VP choice than Tim Walsh right now. I think he really encapsulates an average, hardworking, regular Midwestern guy. He's relatable in many ways. He cuddles with piglets. I mean, adorable. He signed a law making an abortion a fundamental right. He restored voting rights for former felons. He is a good, decent man. What I'm most shocked about is the Democratic Party right now, because I think a lot of us were gearing up for the fact that it was going to be Shapiro and we were going to be disappointed. In some ways, we are always waiting for the other shoe to drop. This really feels like they're listening to the American people, to what the Democrats want to the conversations around the different VP picks. No offense to Tim Kaine, but this is not a Tim Kaine pick. And that is really exciting. The momentum is going to continue because of this pick. Just, I had to show you it one more time. <laughs> more to come.